China right now in talks with the U.S., with Secretary of Treasury uh, Scott Besant in Stockholm, Sweden, talking about how they firm up an actual longer-term deal. We're looking a lot, because a lot of our viewers own semiconductor stocks, at that piece of it. NVIDIA right now is hitting another record high. If you ask Jensen Wong, the CEO, he feels that the American tech stack should be the absolute standard globally, and it puts us in a great position. However, do we really want certain pieces of that tech stack going to our adversaries so that they can then turn around and use them in military products? I mean, what is a realistic deal when it comes to semiconductors with China? Two to three generations back to everybody, not just China, every single adversary, whether it's Russia, North Korea, and I'll tell you why. It's, J Jensen's right. It's not just the chip. It's all the energy and money and billions of dollars of programming time that support the stack through the firmware and software written around it. You always, and I always, the analogy is the chip is the queen bee, and all of the honey bees that make the honey, that's the programming, always stick with one queen bee. They don't want to relearn the DNA of the hive. They stick around the queen. What he's doing is making sure that everybody is, instead of invent, inventing their own queen bees in China, which would be the Huawei chips, we don't want the Huawei chips filling in every void but do we where he can't sell. we give them the farm? Do we give them the best of the best? No, 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 no. You keep them back. My, I would have kept them back one gen because what's happening now, right now they're back th three gen, two and three gens back. I think that the company should, should lobby for just one gen back because then there's enough juice for them to make good honey, but not enough to win wars. This is about defense. The best AI in the military is, is going to win wars with robots just 20 years from now.